Hey guys, this is Matthias and I wanted to share a different kind of video with you here. I'll be playing Heavy Assault and I will be switching up the footage between the Flare VE6, which is the gun that you see right here, and the NS15M that I've been using on the Terran side. Unfortunately, I haven't been playing Heavy Assault on my NC lately, so there's no footage of that here. I do apologize for that. That was a good thing I took that restoration kit right then and there. Just what the doctor ordered. I have the same attachments for both weapons. It's the forward grip, the compensator and soft point ammo. I have been using high velocity ammo in the past with both these weapons though. And uh, there are still situations where I think that high velocity ammo are the preferred choice. But then again, I do shoot quite a lot at the longer range. A lot more than most people. As much as both of these weapons are quite versatile, they are considered long-range weapons, or mid-range at least. That's why you have these attachments available, and it's also the reason why I've picked these two weapons. And basically the way I would compare these two weapons is that I do a bit better with the flare at closer range, and I do a bit better with the NS-15M at longer range. Now I haven't been looking too much into the statistics because, uh, to be perfectly honest, you don't get enough information out of that anyway. At least, that's my opinion. However, if you have a similar playstyle compared to the one that I have, and you like to play Heavy Assault, and you have a little bit of station cash to spare, then I suggest you to buy this one, the NS-15M, because if you buy it for station cash, you will get it for all three empires. Any character you create on that account, you will be able to start using this weapon right away. And I have to say, this is a good light machine gun. Now, as much as I love the flare, I think it's a fantastic weapon. There are situations where I feel like this weapon is... I don't know, there's something about the way I handle this weapon that makes it a bit unreliable from time to time. Now, I know for, from experience that when I switch from one weapon to another, or especially from one empire to another, it takes a little while before you get used to uh, the, the way uh, different weapons handle, and that might be the case with the flare. I've also realized from time to time that I have been burst firing with the flare the way I do with the Pulse RC, and that just doesn't work. So I'm sure it's a good weapon though. Yeah, it is. Fucking Craig steal a tune. <laughs> oh, a sniper, 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 sniper. He got a headshot. Oh, I'm out of ammo, seriously. Oh, was that Max went down? Ammo. Yeah. Out of med kits, out of ammo. There we go. A fucking awesome uh, farm here, actually. Yeah. This is, if this was VM, this fight would have been over so quickly. But as a PR, they don't defend the same way VM does. It's fucking awesome. Fuck, I'm out of ammo too. Now, for the Venus side, uh, the two most popular weapons are. Without a doubt, the Orion and the SVA-88. Now, as good as the Orion is, uh, there's a lot of people that feel no reason to replace it. And I would say you should keep the Orion unless you play the way uh, you've seen in a lot of my videos. Where you shoot a lot past 50 meters because then you'll need another type of uh, weapon. I think the only uh, light machine gun, the only default light machine gun that actually works really well for this type of playstyle is the Gausso of the NC. Alright, that was a little bit optimistic. Anyway, here is a little bit more of that type of gameplay that I choose this weapon for. And now as we have control of the A point where I was going, I don't see any reason to rush it anymore. Instead I'm trying to pick people off as they are trying to approach and uh, get to uh, the capture point. So basically if you prefer to attack the base or defend the base by going directly towards the capture point, then you probably uh, do better off sticking with the Orion. If you prefer to pick people off as they approach from range like this, then either go with the flare or uh, switch to the NS-15M. 
Now, whether or not there is any reason for you to stick with the T9 carb, I honestly don't know. I haven't used it since it was uh, buffed a bit. I'm not sure if, uh, how much it, it was buffed or in what way it was buffed. But, uh, yeah, I haven't tried it, so I can't really tell. But then again, the T9 carb never really was my type of LMG, or at least not uh, in the recent gameplay. In the in the very early part of Planet 2, I liked it a lot. But that is about uh, a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, that was typical Pulsar C bursts that I was using uh, when I was shooting at that very last uh, enemy there. And as you can see, that it, not enough bullets connect when you do that. So if you have similar experiences, you have to shorten the bursts a little bit, and you will do just fine. Eyes open, enemy heavy! Next up here you will see a completely different type of burst fire and it will be working a lot better. Eyes open, enemy heavy. Eyes open, enemy I'm an engineer. I'm so yeah, this was a bit of a different uh, infantry gameplay video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be looking forward to your feedback because, yeah, if, uh, if this is something you like, then hopefully I'll be able to put together something else similar in the future. Anyway, I will say thank you all for watching, and bye for now. Some pilot system. You give them warnings, and they still don't.